Hello, everybody. Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back here with the next episode of Dragon Age Origins with the Human Warrior. Before we get in the video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. That being said, let's get down to it. Let's get down to it. Last episode, we went into the Tower of Ashal to um, light the signal, give the signal to the um, Aaron Logan so his men could come in and charge, but he ends up um, betraying the king, and the king ended up dying in the fight in Ostagar. So let's just get back into this game. Now, as you can all tell, I'm playing this blind. You know, I have I have no idea how to um, build characters in this game. I, you know, it's just a bunch of trial and error for me. So <laughs> I'm sure I'm probably doing it wrong. So anyway, um, we're just going to do some exploring here. Which looks to be a bunch of nothing over here. Oregon's mother. Bunch of nothing over here. Oh, if I'd have known that. Okay. So we're going to Loathing. Okay, I should mention, um, I should mention, I'm playing the, um, I'm playing the Ultimate Edition. Of this game, so, um, Somebody was commenting, oh, that's awesome. You have the, um, you have a couple of the mods. I can't remember what mods he was saying, like the extra dog slot mod and the, um, like some other mod. And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you. The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Van Tegen, please! Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Van Tegen, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, Your Majesty? Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. I guess that fellow is the leader. Uh... They don't look much like their mothers, you know, uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. 
Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the Darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. Now is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers and you're free to move on. What did I tell you? No wagons, and this one looks armed. The toll applies to everyone, Henrik. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still got to pay. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. Did he say he's a Grey Warden? Them ones killed the king. Traitors to Ferelden, I hear. Turn Loghain put quite a bounty on any who are found. What do you say, gents? With that kind of bounty, we can retire. Let's be heroes to the kingdom. Yeah! <laughs> Die, motherfuckers! Damn! All right, we surrender. We're, we're just trying to get by before the dog spawn get us all. Yes, I'm a criminal. I admit it. I apologize. What are you joking, right? I could never be a soldier. Yes, yes, of course. The coins we collected are right here. Uh, just over a hundred silvers. The rest is in the chest we brought. I swear. Well, what could I tell you? We aren't even from these parts. It's packed full. The band took his men north with Tern Loghain, so there's no one looking out for it except a few Templars at the Chantry. Well, I was just trying to feed my family, you know? Everyone's saying how the Grey Wardens betrayed the King during the Darkspawn fight, got him and themselves killed. Tern Loghain pulled out just in time. First thing he's doing is Regent. It's putting a bounty on Grey Wardens. Well then, let me go! Bless you! The Darkspawn can have this place! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! How you do that? Okay. Where do you find the quests? Like. Journal, maybe? Okay. There's the oh, there they are. Okay. Is it better? I don't, I doubt it. No, it's not. Uh oh. I need to find a merchant then. Yeah, I need to find a merchant. Please tell me there's a merchant here in town. 
Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah, so you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. His navel, I suspect. He certainly has been contemplating it for long enough. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. I agree. Have you looked at them? There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. Go after your enemy directly. Find this man Loghain and kill him. The rest of this business with the treaties can then be done in safety. Yes, he certainly wouldn't see that coming, and it's not like he has the advantage of an army and experience and... I was asked for my opinion and I gave it. If your wish is to come up with reasons why something cannot be done, we will stand here until the Darkspawn are upon us. I can give you directions, if you like. He'll be at Castle Redcliffe, in the far western part of Ferelden, next to the mountain passes. If he isn't there, someone will be able to tell us where he is. Then you have a plan. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. Okay. So, please tell me there's a... Stop looking at me, mongrel. I have nothing you want. Nothing, nothing. Why do you keep staring at me so, you flea-ridden beast? Can you not tell when you are not wanted? I enjoy company of creatures of the wild, not stench-ridden domesticated wolves. You there. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you, there's none to be found. It's just a guess, but I'm thinking everyone in Lothering is aware of the approaching... Back off! I have the right to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune! I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts! You wouldn't dare! Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? <laughs> I'm not the only one with some business sense. He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. His only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. You want me to bid against him? We don't have that kind of coin. You <laughs> actually do the bidding of this evil little man. We have nothing to offer but our gratitude. 
you would actually do the bidding of this evil little man. Fine. May your heartlessness bring you exactly what you deserve. A fine sentiment, if I've ever heard one. You're so nice. I bet you make allies everywhere you go. Ha! <laughs> Serves that wench right. You have my thanks. And 100 silvers, yes? Right. Fair enough. But only you. This way. And beware the urchins. They have grabby little hands. Okay. So, he needs to sell some stuff here. Ooh, I bet you Morgan can use that. Can't use the blood dragon plate. Okay. Okay, this is other? Okay. Let's see if we can get anything. I can't get anything. Okay. There you go, Alistair. Oh, you use long swords. What am I thinking? Use long swords. Okay. Field, you can have that back. What about you? Oh, the dark spawn does not do good. Okay. 
Yes. Oh, but you leveled up. Okay. Um. We want you to 20. Get you to there. Then we'll use two handed. We'll start with two handed, too. I shall do it. Okay. Oh, friend. Care to take advantage of your discount? This way. And beware the urchins. They have grabby little hands. Okay. Weapon. You okay? Nothing, okay. She's good. What about Alistair? Oh, friend. Care to take advantage of your discount? This way. And beware the urchins. They have grabby little hands. Okay. Let me see here. That new Dwarven Longsword. There we go. Now what about Alistair? Can he use it? He sure can. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> well, I'm going to do some shopping for Alistair. Friend, care to take advantage of your discount? This way. And beware the urchins. They have grabby little hands. Okay. I'm sorry I'm boring y'all here with this, but um, I need to see if I can get better stuff for um, for Alistair. We can't, looks like. I don't oh, think we friend. can for me either. Take advantage of your discount. This way. And beware the urchins. They have yes, I know. I know, damn it. Um No. No. Alright, I don't think we can get anything. Okay. Okay. Very well.
So here we're going on a bandit hunt, it looks like. Let me read this here so I understand what's going on here. As transcribed on behalf of Sir Bryant, Templar, and Defender of Faith of the Faith, know that all those who prey upon refugees do so under pain of death. The Maker spurns bandits and their kind. The Templars offer a sizable reward for the apprehension or execution of the bandit leaders flying their trade in the northern woods and roads. Beware, the bandits are numerous and of considerable skill. Only a well-armed and well-trained party should brave the deep wood. We pray for the success of any who undertake this mission. Residents of good standing and passing travelers have indicated that there are three bandit groups in the northern wood. This humble chanter would echo Sir Brian's caution, lest you wind up another victim of these evil men. The reward for such service is three sovereigns. May the maker look after his children in our hour of need. But we'll accept it. May as well. If you seek refuge in the Chantry, there's simply no room left. So many are coming to Lothering. I make no assumptions. Priests are within if you seek to offer devotion to the Maker, however. May he protect us all. Not since Tern Loghain passed by with his army. It's a shame about the King. But with the Darkspawn coming, few can think of anything else. Were? Did you drive them off? Well, Sir Bryant will appreciate that. Make her watch over you. Okay. So I'm thinking. Just how smart are the Bari supposed to be, anyway? Do you think they understand everything we say? Hello, uh, stranger. I don't suppose you know anyone that can make traps. Old man Barlin said that Darkspawn may be coming soon. He's got traps on his farm. I figured I'd put a few on my lands. Barlin wants to poison his traps. I just want normal traps. I didn't mean to bother you. Sorry. What does Morgan have? Back again? Oh, she doesn't have any. So we needs to get some stuff for her. I thought she had armor. Apparently she doesn't. <laughs> there he is. Oh, friend. Care to take advantage of your discount? This way. And beware the urchins. They have grabby little hands. Okay. There. Okay, now we'll equip Morgan. Okay.
There we go. There. There. Now she's got armor. Okay, so I do apologize boring y'all like this. I'm I'm trying to figure out what to do here. So you got a bed for the night. You taken care of. <laughs> Don't need blades right now. We need beds, food, and an end to all these sad sots. I don't suppose you know anything of tonics, medicines, or herbs. Then you may be able to do us a lot of good. All manner of travelers come through, many injured or sick. We do our best, but we're out of supplies. There's medicinal herbs in the woods to the north. If you make a few poultices, I'll scrape together some sort of payment. I'll write all you need to know in this note here. Okay. So we're getting some quests here. How dare you accuse me of favoring? I saw you take the supplies from my car. Your grassland eyes are inept. A chastened would never stoop to petty theft. You marsh folk are all thieves. Shopke Basi Tisra, you aren't one of my captors. I will not amuse you any more than I have the other humans. Leave me in peace. I'm in a cage, am I not? I've been placed here by the Chantry. I am Sten of the Beresad, the vanguard of the Kunari peoples. You mock me. Or you show manners I have not come to expect in your lands. Though it matters little now, I will die soon enough. This is a proud and powerful creature, trapped as prey for the Darkspawn. If you cannot see a use for him, I suggest releasing him for mercy's sake alone. Mercy? I wouldn't have expected that from you. I would also suggest that Alistair take his place in the cage. Yes, that's what I would have expected. I suggest you leave me to my fate. No doubt. What help do you seek? The Blight. Are you a Grey Warden, then? Surprising. My people have heard legends of the Grey Warden's strength and skill. Though I suppose not every legend is true. Perhaps if you told her the Grey Wardens need my assistance, it seems as likely to bring my death as waiting here. Farewell, then. Eaten alive by Darkspawn. That's cruel. I wonder why the revered mother's so afraid of him. Okay. Make sure there isn't anything else here. Um... Here we go. There. 
There's some random mercenaries came and attacked us. Huh. Unless these are the bandits we're supposed to be fighting. Ugh. Okay, let me look at the quest real quick. Or note, okay. Is it plot? Of root? Is that what we're looking for? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if it matters if Morgan picks the elf root. As you wish. Okay. There was two sets of bandits. Here's a third set of bandits. We fell. I wasn't paying attention to my health.
Yeah, I didn't pay attention to my health, did I? <laughs> Ooh. We got some upgrades here. Take the sack. And we'll see about looking at upgrades here. Okay. There. Just to balance you. So, okay. I think we got everything we need. I think so. survived when even the Grey Wardens didn't make it out of that place down south. Have any luck finding herbs in the woods? This will help many people. You're a good sort, you know. There we go. It looks like I'm going to have to put some mods on this game because um, I don't know where to turn in the quests. I bet you there's a mod that shows where the quests are and um, where to turn them in, you know? Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. When bears attack. And on behalf of Fed the farmer and his departed son, I ascribe this missive. As the maker is my witness, I charge all those with knowledge of arms and armor to brave the dangers of the northern wood to find the family of bears that mauled and killed my boy, Enith. For they are an abomination in the Maker's sight, and their hides would prove great comfort to the northern farms and solace of solace for Ted's farm family. As chanter for loathing, I do pledge a sum of one sovereign to whoever carries out this, the Maker's will. Exercise extreme, exercise caution. First and foremost, may his light bathe us all. Will accept you and the last keepsake. A thanks to all villagers who open their barns and crofts to the refugees in these dark times. The chant re chant re regularly hears praise from our visitors, and your virtuous deeds are mentioned in many prayers. Sadly, there is a lone boy in the village whose mother. Good wife Sarah is missing, as she has been missing for the better part of a week. As of this writing, she is presumed dead. May the Maker bless her passing. She was a lady of middle years with red hair and fond of of a green cloak. If any traveler or resident comes across her in the wilds, please return her body or the effects on her remains in... Later, in late years, 
the boy will be thankful to have such keepsakes to remember his brave mother by. The office of the chanter will compensate their kindness with the sum of 50 silvers. May the maker turn... Okay. So, now we need to go back up this way to see if we can find... More elf root. We'll take it. Nothing. Okay. We have enemies. Oh, there they are. Here they are. It's the wolves. Yeah, if anything, we're getting experience for killing those wolves. I'm just checking everything out, making sure the bears are not here. Here's the mother we were looking for. Yeah, I'm sure there's a quest tracker mod we need to download and install um i'm sure there is it just um i need to find it probably on nexus mods <laughs> oh here's the bears Killed the bears. <laughs> we killed the bears. There we have every. Oh, there's some death root over here. We can grab. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Always take your herbs, because you never know when you're going to need them, you know? Oh, we got some more. Oh, it's spider time. We probably don't want to fight these yet, so. But we're trapped, so we're going to have to.
thought there was a corpse over here I missed. There we go. Alright. So now, we're going to go turn some quests in again. If I know where to turn them in, you know. Hopefully I figure out where they go. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. And the stars stood still, the winds did quiet and all animals of earth and air held their breath. All was silent in prayer and thanks. Your king is dead. There is no okay. Oh, we got... Okay. Oh, well, I'm thinking we got everything, but I'm not sure. Friend, care to take advantage of your discount? This way. And beware the urchins. They have grabby little hands. Okay, so the shield of I ever, that's the one we want to put on. Okay. Yoink. There we go. Okay. to run to the village as fast as I could, so I did. She said she'd be right behind me, but I've been waiting and waiting and I can't see her. Mother said I wasn't to go with anyone. I'm supposed to wait for her here, in the village. I don't find mother first. You're a really nice girl, <clears throat> kind of like father. I should go look for mother now. Okay. I think that's everything. Um. Yeah, I think that's everything. So I'm just going to go to the camp. And um, that way then I can get the save. 
and then I'll probably just call it the video. So, um, you know, sorry for boring you with the uh, um, with the merchant. Like I said, I'm still trying to figure out how to um, how to play this game. So. Shall do it. Mighty timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. The name's Bodan Fedic, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. Grey wounds. Hmm. My, that does rather explain a lot. No offense, but I suspect there's more excitement on your path than my boy and I can handle. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune, though. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? Okay. Okay, so I just got the save. So I'm going to chill here. I'm going to just call it here. So hope you all had fun this episode. I did. I'm, like I said, I'm still kind of trying to figure out how to play this game. It's been a long time since I've played it. So, you know, I'm sure I'm doing a lot of things wrong. So you can say so in the comments. I don't have a problem with that. You know, just as long as you're cool about it, you know, just say, oh, this, why don't you try doing this? Or how about you try doing that? Or something like that, you know, that I don't have a problem with. So anyway, hope you all had fun this episode. I did, and I'll see you all in the next episode.